Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Pander 2 8x8 armored vehicles have solidified their position as the backbone of the intervention brigade within the Portuguese army since their delivery in 2008. This acquisition marked a significant milestone for Portugal, being the first country to invest in the Pander 2, underscoring its commitment to modernizing its military capabilities. Procured under a contract signed in 2005 with General Dynamics European Land Combat Systems, the production of 260 Pander II combat vehicles amounted to $482 million. Fast forward to 2023, and the Portuguese army boasts a formidable fleet, comprising 30 Pander II in IFV configuration armed with a 30mm automatic cannon and 146 Pander II in various other variants, including infantry carrier vehicles, command vehicles, recovery vehicles, medical evacuation vehicles, and more. The significance of the Pander II extends beyond its numerical strength. Portugal's military strategy, outlined in a program law spanning from 2019 to 2030, emphasizes rapid response capabilities, maritime security, and participation in international missions. This aligns with the Pander II's versatility, allowing it to excel in diverse operational environments, from national defense to disaster relief efforts. Moreover, Portugal's commitment to bolstering its defense capabilities is evident in its recent increase in defense spending, with aims to further elevate defense expenditure as a percentage of GDP by 2024. This investment is not only directed towards acquiring state-of-the-art equipment like the Pander II but also encompasses broader modernization initiatives, including cyber defense and soldier combat systems. Internationally, Portugal plays a significant role in NATO and the EU military frameworks, leveraging its strategic location and robust military infrastructure. The country's partnerships, notably with the United States, are underscored by initiatives like the U.S. presence at Lodge's Air Base, further enhancing interoperability and cooperation. The Pander II's design epitomizes adaptability and resilience, featuring advanced armor protection, NBC defense systems, and modular configurations tailored to mission requirements. Its mobility, with a top speed of up to 100 km per hour and amphibious capabilities, ensures operational effectiveness across diverse terrains. As Portugal continues to evolve its military capabilities, the Pander II remains a steadfast asset, embodying innovation, reliability, and versatility. With ongoing efforts to enhance defense readiness and forge strategic partnerships, Portugal stands poised to meet the challenges of modern warfare, with the Pander II leading the charge as a symbol of its military prowess. That's all for now, see you later.